one of the things that I think Oregon does pretty well. They can envision a future, they can plan for it, and typically they're fairly successful at making that happen. I think where we are not doing as well as we could is, again, that equity thing, making sure that those benefits and that that, vi and, uh, that vision encompasses everyone in the state. I worry uh, that uh, sometimes the um, privilege of being a citizen of this region is becoming accessible or attainable to fewer Oregonians rather than most Oregonians. So I would love to see the day in which our children really enjoy the, the, the fruits of our efforts today so that we are creating a more balanced growth and a more prosperous for everyone to enjoy. Providing opportunities for uh, people to uh, contribute, to be part of the larger economy is critical. Without the ability to develop assets, it's really hard to have that sense of where you're, where you're going to be. So the individual development account that the state of Oregon has I think is probably the most significant economic development opportunity we provide for lower income people in the state. Access to affordable home ownership and what difference it makes for families, whether it's stable home ownership or a stable affordable rental, um, it's that you can count on where you're going to be able to live. And being able to do that means you're going to be able to keep your kids in the same school. You'll be able to develop routines around those sorts of things. If your rent is increasing all the time or if you can't afford to buy a home, then you don't get to create that sense of stability. And so asset building programs like an IDA um, are there to be able to help people begin to make those kinds of investments in their home or in their education or in those sorts of things. Community development is really looking at the interdependence, the interrelatedness of all the issues. I mean, when people have housing without jobs or opportunity, uh, it's just housing. What we want to do is have people and communities be able to succeed and to thrive. Sometimes people define that as, I'll give you an equal access to jobs and so on and so forth, but it has to be an equal access all the way around. So that means education, that means housing, that means health considerations and concerns. Uh, it's a complete lifestyle and it wraps around the entire region and everything that goes on uh, within the state.